Hello, my name is Joanne and I'm from Comet Crest and I'm here with Frank Ponte, celebrity chef and food artist. And today we're going to be talking about Tahun Cress and uh, making Tahun oil. Yes, absolutely. Good morning to you. We've got this uh, excellent Tahun Cress here. Uh, we've got something very simple with it, but it's got some particularity of it. Can you, can you explain oh, a little yes, bit? Oh, yes, it's so amazing because um, this is a, a tree from the Himalayas, actually, and um, it's, it has an oily base. Normally, you think of, of uh, plants of, as having a water base, mm -hmm. but this one has oil in it, and so it lends itself really well to making oils, um, to making dr dressings, and, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of different things. So, um, should we start making the oil? Yes, well, well we'll do, uh, do some oil, you see, because it's quite oily, as you said, and it's very nice and shiny here as well. Look at that. A, you can cook with it and you use it as garnish also, but cooking with it is very important. So, we've done some oil. How we do the oil? It's very simple. We blanch it first. So, we uh, cu cut the, the stem of, uh, of the cress and we blanch it very quickly in boiling water. The one I said quickly, I said less than 10 seconds. It's in and out. When we put it in icy water, you drain the water out and then you blitz it with some oil. So grapeseed oil is very good or vegetable oil. So what I've done, I've just done it. I blitz it all together and when it was done, I just put it into a little sieve and then that drop slowly into a little pan. So then it's really nice and clarified. It makes a very nice color. Look at that. So, so it goes well with um, a lot of earth flavors, a lot of earth tones, um, some uh, mushrooms, and uh, beetroot. Mushroom, beetroot. Good for charcuterie also. But uh, this is a cooked uh, hog ham we've got here. So basically just, uh, just a shank. So we just cut the tahun. I think it's very nice because the meat fell apart the, the bone. It's very nicely cooked and cold. And you can have this. You can make it a bit in advance if you want. You know, keep it in the fridge. Give it a good shake before you serve it up. It's very nice. And you put the meat on here and the little drizzle of oil on top. Just a drizzle like that. And look at the color of that. Look how beautiful this is. Don't put any more seasoning on it simply because the ham has been cured in nitrate salt. So it's got some salt already in it. And look at the color of that, how vibrant this is. Let's say like that. There we go. That's what you can have in two little uh, buffet cocktail. That'll be very nice. What do you think? I think we're all set. Thank okay, you. we're all set. Thank you.